in cars you often have this kind of waterproof connection you can see in here <coughs> where the cable goes into the connector it has like silicone seals so that no water can go further than there the same on the other side of this connector when you <coughs> disconnect this kind of connection then you find also a silicone seal here to <coughs> keep the inner portion of this connection dry and free of corrosion You have a <coughs> female and a male side of this connector. Let me show you how you can create this on your own. If you have, or if you need to make a connection like this in like an existing wire. So first of all, let's do the um, female side of this connection first going to insulate the wire here and then <coughs> you do need a um, female pin for the connector I have one here and then you need also one of those silicone seals here let me try to zoom in more that you can see this there so the silicone seal you push over the wire like this until it's almost there where the insulation comes out so this here is where the pin would go just like this now we use a pair of pliers here like this to make it easier for me to move around without this piece falling off. Now you need a crimper for that, a crimp tool here. There it is. The opening of this pin goes to the bottom here like this. There. Goes into the hole here. Like this. And it gets crimped. When we look at this now, it's completely destroyed. Okay, what does that tell us? You can make mistakes. So this is completely messed up and we need to uh, redo it. Let's try this again. Okay, let's put uh, silicone over it first. We get the insulation off here. Now I move the silicone back there. We need the female pin. Oh, this one is already bent. Let me bend it open again. So it goes in here like this. There we are. And I use my pliers again to get them a little closer together here, right? Like this. So then I go in here. Like this. And crimp. So in this case now, the cramp looks pretty good. Well, this is the one ready, and then we need to go to the other side. If we want the exact same cable length on both, we're looking good. Okay, so let's do the get rid of the insulation here. There we are. We need. Um, like the silicone piece here, there, a female connector, so, goes around here, 
throwing on my hands out of the way of them. Let's help it a little bit with some pliers. There. Let's see this. And crimp. Let me fix that a little. Okay, so this looks good now. The shorter ones with um, the short ones are the females. Here. Gonna go in here. It will arrive here at the top. Insert the other one. Like this. Push them in until they arrive here at the top. See that? And then you would add one of those long stoppers in here. It uh, goes over here like this. Like that. And that makes a female collector work correctly. No, it does not. Let's take this out and see why it's not working. You huh? have to go all the way in like this. Isn't that crazy? this. Let's try this again. Connector. Goes in here left and right. So there it fits good. There we go. Those red things hold the pins in place. So now for the other side of the wire we would need the male connection for this. That works extremely similar. So let's first make sure that our wires have the same length. This is clearly not the case. So now they're both the same length. We can we use the same silicone seals here. Let me push this over first. Same silicone seal. Now we need to Get the insulation off again. Here, in this one. I do it on the other one at the same time here. Let's save some time. Wow, this cut it off. See that? That is not good. Okay. My bad. There we go. So now we need male connectors on this. Two of them. There we have them. We need to go with our connectors to the edge here. This one too. To the edge of the insulation. That's where we want to be. And get the close to this I'm going to help this a little now we have our tool again same tool same tool did not crimp Oh, that nuts. Now it crimped. Need to crimp. And another one for the for the second cable. So we they make those here with like for six of them. 
or more, right? So on automotive, you have a lot of those. It goes in this way, all the way. Crimp it, and there we see a beautiful crimp, yeah, there. Okay, so now we need the male connection here. Insert this. Oh, it goes the other way around here, yeah, sorry. Where's the hole? Here, yeah, this way. No, no. Let's try the red one here. Oh man, doesn't want to go in. It's a little bent here. Uh -huh. Let's try that again. There we go. Does it go all the way in? Are we bent to? Let's try one more time. That fits. You can see, it's deep enough, and it's just here a little bit off. So <clears throat> for that one, I do have like different tweezers here. I use a tweezer to insert this this red uh, connector thing here. It goes like this, but the pin in here is a little bent. Let me get those both in there the right way. There. Clipped in down there. Now you see it's in there. Sealed here in the back nicely. And now when we make the connection here, it's going to be flawless. There. It's a great connection now. As you can see, it's sealed on that side. The yellow, you can see the yellow silicone seal here. This is a waterproof connection. So I hope you liked this video and um, yeah, subscribe for the next one.